I just did full hair and makeup to share with you this gallery wall I'm about to do. I don't know about you, but on my day off, I don't do my makeup. But anyway, I'm standing in my room, in a corner of my room that I wanna revamp a little bit. It's kind of just sad and sorry, nothing really going on. It doesn't have much personality. I've tried a lot of different things in this corner and I've never really liked it. So I have decided to do a gallery wall above this dresser and kind of restyle the dresser. I have seven items that I'm going to put up on the wall above here. I have not exactly worked out what the layout is going to be yet, but I'm going to use that handy trick that I'm sure you've all seen on Pinterest where you take paper, you make an, a cutout of each of your items and kind of play around with the layout on the wall. So that's going to be my approach and it actually makes things easier for hanging as well. So I'm going to take you along and kind of show you how this turns out. Okay, so I have all seven of my items. I have a big roll of paper, so I'm just going to make a little cut cutout to represent each of my frames. And then I'm gonna play around, I think I'll play around with the actual items on the rug in front of the dresser to see the actual items and how they play together, the colors and the shapes. And then I will take the outlines, the, out the cutouts, <laughs> and put them up on the wall and kind of play around with it again, spacing and all that stuff. I do have one long mirror that I might wanna hang on the wall just to the side of this gallery wall, kind of in this empty space right here. So I'm gonna to have to keep that in mind as well as I'm working on it. So let me start outlining all this. made all the cutouts for each of my set of seven items and I've set them aside for a moment because I do just want to get a feel for how these look on the on the rug laying in front of the dresser for now and then I'm gonna bring those in and kind of put them up on the wall So I have the cutouts on the wall and I have to say there's a big difference between them on the wall than seeing it on the ground because it goes up nice and tall which I really like um, and I like how these shapes play together so I'm pretty confident that this is the way that I want to do it. Um, I'm going to try my best to hang these as level as possible um, but if there's anything I can't really hang then I'm going to have to call in the big guns which is my fiance to come help me. But I'm glad that I left. I think I'm gonna have enough room on this side to possibly hang the um, full length mirror that I have as well. So yeah, I, I'm pretty confident with this. I'm excited to get it on the wall. So a little trick that I'm gonna use to make hanging my frames a little bit easier is I'm going to leave each cutout on the wall and then I'm going to go to the back of each piece to see where exactly I need to hang the frame from. So this one just has a string across the top. So I'm going to measure from, I'm going to pull tight on that and measure from the very top of that string to the top of my frame. And then use that same measurement. Let's see what it is. It's about an inch, maybe a little less three quarters of an inch. So now I can measure three quarters of an inch down on my piece of paper and put a nail to help me hang it instead of trying to figure out how I'm gonna hang it. So that's the trick that I'm gonna use to hang most of these. I 
don't recommend climbing on the top of your furniture. <laughs> If you get it where you want it, you can take the piece of paper down. I'm going to wait until I get them all hung to take the paper down in my case. gap here. Um, I think I'm going to find something small that I can kind of put here. Um, probably not a picture, maybe like something, I don't know, long and skinny. It's definitely worth grabbing a level and making sure that all of your pictures are hanging level. It just makes everything look a lot more sharp and professional. So my gallery wall is all done. I am thrilled with the way it came out. I love how high up it goes and that it spans this whole space. It just makes a huge impact in this corner of the room that was otherwise pretty boring and had no personality. I also love what I did with the restaging. I just need to get a picture for this frame and then this corner will be pretty much set. I am very happy that I took the time to make a cutout of each frame and then to use that technique where you measure from the top of the piece of paper down to the string or whatever mechanism is on the back of the frame to hang it. I think that saved me a lot of time and a lot of holes in the wall to do it that way. So I would recommend doing that if you are thinking about doing a gallery wall in your own home. But yeah, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Always like sharing stuff like this with you. And I hope that you do a gallery wall of your own and if you do, make sure to share it with me.